January 24th, our righteous mother Xenia of St. Petersburg, the fool for Christ's sake. Our righteous mother Xenia of Petersburg was born about the year 1730. She was married to a colonel named Andrew. When she was 26 years old, her husband died suddenly, having been drinking with his friends. Left a childless widow, Xenia gave away all that she had and vanished from St. Petersburg for eight years. It is believed that she spent this time in a hermitage, learning the spiritual life. When she returned to St. Petersburg, she wore her husband's military clothing and would answer only to the name Andrew, that is, the name of her late husband. She took up the life of a homeless wanderer and was abused by many as insane. She bore this with great patience, crucifying the carnal mind through the mockery she endured and praying for her husband's soul. She was given great gifts of prayer and prophecy and often foretold things to come. In 1796, she foretold the death of the Empress Catherine II. Having lived 45 years after her husband's death, she reposed in peace at the age of 71, about the year 1800. Her grave became such a source of miracles, and so many came to take soil from it as a blessing, that it was often necessary to replace the soil. When, the stones, when a stone slab was placed over her grave, this too disappeared over time, piece by piece. Saint Xenia is especially invoked for help in finding employment, lodging, or a spouse. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ the Lord has given us an ardent intercessor for our kind. For having received in my life sufferings and grief, and served God and men with love, thou didst acquire great boldness. Wherefore we fervently hasten to thee in temptations and grief, crying out from the depths of our hearts, Put not our hope to shame, O blessed Senya. Ah. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and word shall I now pour forth unto the Mother and Queen, and I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. 
O Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. Stranger to virtue and estranged from God by my many sins, I ask thee, O blessed stranger to all earthly desires, by thine earnest prayers estrange my soul from passions and make me, O Xenia, a friend of the Lord, come on. Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for Thy us. Thy joy-bringing festival is come to us like a shining sun, relieving our heavy pains and giving joy to our hearts, putting us in mind of God's great grace and mercy, which thy righteous life, Mother Xenia, made manifest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Xenia, in a lifetime thou didst reckon gold as but common clay, but after thy death the faithful coming unto thy grave took the clay thereof as gold beyond all reckoning, which heals disease and resolves predicament. Both now and ever and unto the ages of since thou gavest birth to God when he was minded to call us back from sorrow and sin unto our first estate as his sons, heal my wretched heart from all its wounds and foulness, and grant me the joy that God chose thee to mediate. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living in never failing spring, all them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name. And by thy grace divine, O may deem them all worthy of glory's crowns. O Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. Enduring with fortitude and patience, thy yoke fellows dire and sudden death, O Xenia, thou wast pierced in heart with longing for the crucified, who took our whole infirmity upon himself in his love for man. Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God The lost and misfortune brought upon thee, didst thou make complete of thine own will, abandoning all earthly care, thy riches, kinsmen, friends, and home, to gain the pearl of grace greatest price, the saving love of the Trinity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A mother to multitudes of sick folk, the comfort and riches of the poor, the God that showed the way in life, the cure when every hope was lost. Has thou, O Xenia, been to all that called upon thee with faith and faith? Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I earnestly beg of thee, O Virgin, smite down them that tyrannize my heart through cunning snares. They lay each day, and long established habits of sin. But since thou hast almighty strength, quickly deliver my captive soul. Both in works and in name thou didst prove to be a new Andrew the full, great in sanctity. Beholding God's mysteries, the heart secrets and things to come, making foolish the world's empty wisdom with words and deeds, and destroying the devil's devices by grace divine. Now that all thy wanderings are ended, O Xenia, and heaven has taken thee to its place of eternal joy. Save them that cry to thee with faith. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Haste, O virgin, to rescue my lowly soul, overwhelmed in the storm and the surging waves of life's hard adversities, without helmsmen to steer the course, overladen besides with the burden of weighty sins, and in danger of sinking straight down into Hades' depths. But, O Theotokos, by thy fervent entreaty, conduct me in safety to thy calm haven and tranquil port, that I may cry to thee with faith. Entreat thy Son and God that he grant the forgiveness of transgressions unto me, for I, thine unworthy servant, have thee as my certain hope. Seated in his holy glory on the throne of divinity, Jesus, the Most High God, comes on a light cloud as King of all, and he is saved by his pure and undefiled hand, them that cry out unto him, 
Glory, O God, to thy sovereign might. O Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. Wretched who rags attire thy body, but thy soul were a radiant robe of incorruption, O divinely wise Xenia, blessed of God. And with thy labors and prayers and wondrous foolishness, thou didst mightily strip our old foe naked of his strength. Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. In the bitter cold of winter, thou wast warmed with the love of Christ. In the heat of summer, Thou was ever cooled with the Spirit's dew, for thou, O Mother, didst overcome the elements by thy faith in God, who made his rest in thy blameless soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Daily wrestling with the devil in ascetical diligence, thou was given power both to break his nest and to guide man's souls, and thou became the source of blessings unto all, and an oracle where to all run for the will of God. Lord, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. With the man. rivers of thy mercy, wash away every stain of sin from my soul, O Lady, granting me compunction and cleansing tears, and intercede with thy Son to grant his saving fear to my straying heart, that I might walk in his holy will. All creatures were sore amazed at thy divine and great glory made. O pure virgin, who hast not known wedlock, for thou didst told in thy womb the God of all, and gavest birth unto the timeless Son, who doth grant salvation unto all them that acclaim thy name. O Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. The armies of angels are amazed to see how a woman strove far beyond the strength of human nature, bearing the blows of the demons' daily assaults and triumphing over them in Christ, who awarded gifts to her for transcending the mind of man. Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for the us. The city of Peterburg was sanctified by thy righteous life, but thou after death hast filled the whole world with visitations of wondrous healings and signs, and even to them that knew thee not, thou hast been made manifest, standing ills and in kings. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In watching the whole night long, ceaselessly bending the knees with tears, thou didst strive in prayer as did the ancients, and thou wast given the same abundance of grace to know clearly that which was to come, and to intercede with God for the Church and the whole world. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, look thou with mercy on us, thy little flock, see how wicked wolves be all about us. But do thou scatter them with the road of thy prayer to Christ, the good shepherd, and thy Son, since thou quickly hears us, and thyself are so quickly heard. On this divine and most honoured feast of God's all holy mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come, let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she is born. O Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. Without a pauper and wanderer, within a sea of mercy and sympathy, a citizen on high, an intercessor, a prophetess, thou was in truth a sister of Jesus in thy world. Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. Without a ragged and homeless fool, within a fiery pillar of ceaseless prayer, that reached the throne of God, ever imploring for all the world, forgiving all, and asking forgiveness for all men. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For every suffering thou didst bear, for every pain and mocking, for every painful step with worried feet, thou now enjoys a recompense that truly is eternal, O Xenia, crowned of God. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy life, which burned like a lamp before the Virgin's holy icon in fervent prayer, was ceaselessly made bright by her whom thou didst completely love, O Xenia, as the virginal mother of thy God. Having been as a wandering stranger on earth, sighing for the heavenly homeland, thou wast known as a fool by the senseless and unbelieving, but as most wise and holy by the faithful, and was crowned by God with glory and honor, Oxenia, 
manly minded and divinely wise. Wherefore we cry to thee, rejoice! For after earthly wandering thou hast come to dwell in the Father's house. Who is this knocking upon the gates of the kingdom of the heavens, her garments white, her face shining brighter than the sun? Where does she come from, asking for such great things? It is the daughter of the heavenly Father, the faithful handmaid of the Son of God and the chosen vessel of the Holy Spirit, who has been wandering on the earth like a stranger. Now she is translated to the heavenly homeland. Wherefore, quickly open the doors for her and greet her with rejoicing, crying out, Rejoice, O Xenia, for after earthly wandering thou hast come to dwell in the Father's house. Rejoice, O Xenia, for after earthly wandering thou hast come to dwell in the Father's house. No created thing but only the Creator with the godly-minded youths adore and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats afar, they cried out, O supremely praised and all acclaimed one, blessed art thou, the God of our fathers. O Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. You that love the world and seek its fleeting vanities, come you to Petersburg, let Xenia show unto you what death and decay is concealed in the world's delight as a prophetess who overturns worldly pride as a vessel of corruption. Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. Any at a loss when troubles turn their life to night and sorrows pierce their soul, there is relief near at hand in Xenia, who wanders yet in the midst of man, hearing every cry and bearing our request to Christ, who does heed her intercession. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With humility and foolishness inspired of God, thou didst abase the pride of the inventor of death, whose every device was undone by thy poverty of all earthly things, and by thine ardent faith in Christ, we exalted thee with power. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. If the pure in heart alone shall see the face of God, O Lady full of grace, what hope of vision have I defiled as I am with the stains of innumerable sins? But since thou art good, O Virgin, cleanse me by thy prayers with repentance, tears, and mourning. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bore. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth indeed, and he has gathered all the world which cries out and chant, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign might. O Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. Thine all holy tomb has proved a fountain of help inexhaustible and cures every ill, pouring forth in endless streams unto all with faith in thee. For even when all hope was lost, thou hast brought back from death, has reconciled those rent in estrangement, healed what was despaired of, and filled the poor with gladness. Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for us. Thou hast given grace by thy divine faith to live like a holy angel free of mortal flesh, practicing ascetic feats far beyond the strength of man, while bearing in thy blessed soul the pain and grief of all, imploring Christ to grant his great mercy unto all who praise the Auxinia to the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Since thou now hast found the many mansions that shine with eternal glory in the Father's house, Never cease to look with love from above on us on earth, encompassed with iniquities and every lure of sin, who cry to thee in sorrow and weakness, seeking for thy mercy, O righteous Mother Xenia. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Break, crush, completely do away with the cunningly woven snares of our deceitful foe, who does tempt us day by day, seeking our eternal death, and since thou gavest birth to him that slew 
through him by his cross, O grace of God, cease never entreating for our soul's salvation and sonship in the kingdom. Let every earthborn man upleap in the spirit and now hold his torch on high, and let all the bodiless noeticos now celebrate joyously the Theotokos' is sublime and sacred festival as they chant. Rejoice, O thou blessed one, ever virgin and pure mother of our God. O holy mother Xenia, pray to God for us. In the field by night, while bending the knee and raising up the mind to God with a flood of fervent tears, thou didst both cleanse thy soul and protect the world. Now in that country where there is the never waning day, mother Xenia, neither let thy pleadings wane, but remember us all, boldly pray for all. Holy Mother Xenia, pray to God for Finishing us. thy course and keeping the faith, thou hast received the shining crown of eternal righteousness, since thou didst love the beauty of Christ alone and didst abandon everything that is but temporal. Now in heaven all thy toils are recompensed, every pain is a germ in thy diadem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the mystic rains that pour from thy powerful entreaty, with the Lord, what am I afflicted heart, which searing passions wretchedly wither up, and quench the flame and kindle for mine uncorrected soul, Mother Xenia, that with warm and saving tears I might wash clean the robe of my wayward soul. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since the Most High God became man of thee to raise us from the nethermost gulf of sin and deep despair, O Virgin, Lift us up from our daily falls and set our feet upon the rock of Christ's divine commandments in repentance. Lead us by the hand of God that we might stand without shame before his light. Translated from a foreign land, come from her wearied wanderings, the blessed Senya doth cry out, Open, O house of the Father, Open thy doors to me at last, Who lived a stranger on the earth, Who as a pauper scorned of all, Knocked at the gates of the kingdom, with prayer and sighing and weeping. Wisdom, O Holy Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. And the prayers of St. Ninian and St. Cuthbert, the bishops of God, St. Sisoes the Great, St. Brandon the Navigator, St. Oron of Iona, St. Columba of Iona, St. Kenneth, St. Ronan, St. Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. And the prayers of our Holy Mother, Blessed Xenia, the Fool for Christ, Wonder Worker of St. Petersburg, with the prayers of our Righteous Mother Xenia of Rome and her two handmaids, with the prayers of our Righteous Father, Neophytus, the Recluse of Cyprus, with the prayers of St. Gossach, St. Manach, and St. Caddoch of Wales, and those with them whose memory we also keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. 